Litelligence, a photonics startup located in Boston, has unveiled the world's first compact form factor, photonics-based computing system, which means it utilizes light to execute computations. The device is hundreds of times quicker than a standard computer unit, such as the NVIDIA RTX 3080, according to the firm. To be precise, 350 times quicker, although this only applies to particular sorts of applications. Photonic computing hardware usually means that instead of regular electricity, it uses light to do calculations which in turn makes heat a non-issue and improves the speed in many cases by many factors. While until recently, it never really left huge and expensive data centers, Litelligence is expected to release a consumer-grade photonic card by next year which you could easily plug into your own computer and strongly accelerate things like artificial intelligence model training. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you this new type of hardware which is soon expected to be part of personal computers just like graphics card, in what ways it's expected to outperform already released hardware, and finally, what it means for GPU makers in the short term. The Photonic Arithmetic Computing Engine, or PACE, merges electronics and photonics in a single chassis, executing operations at the speed of light and therefore delivering exceptional acceleration for particular AI, deep learning, and machine learning compute workloads. It is still in the demo stage. First and foremost, conventional processors operate in a certain way. Non-linearity is a problem with traditional transistor-based devices. Non-linearity is what allows transistors to flip on and off, allowing them to be fashioned into logic gates. With electronics, where non-linearities are plentiful, this switching is simple. However, photons obey Maxwell's equations, which are painfully linear, so that an optical device's output is usually proportionate to its inputs. The solution is to leverage the linearity of optical devices to do the single most important task in deep learning, linear algebra. Because of the nature of its computational components, PACE speeds some matrix acceleration workloads substantially quicker than NVIDIA's RTX 3080. It's simple to understand. On Litelligence's system, latency, or the time between when an event is commanded to happen and when it really happens, is much, much lower. That is one of the advantages of data flowing at the speed of light. Litelligence understood it would have to concentrate not just on the PACE's optical capabilities, but also on traditional semiconductors and software solutions that would connect the two. As a result, the firm advertises itself as a hardware and software supplier. It has also developed algorithms that are especially tailored to solve some of today's most basic computing issues in a photonic environment. The ability to co-design many different domains together is one of Litelligence's distinct advantages over other firms creating optical computing. Their photonic engineers collaborate with analog, digital, packaging, and software engineers to create the chips, which are post-silicon teams then build and integrate into 3D systems. None of this would be feasible without the ideas of their opto-electronic packaging team. When it comes to the kind of workloads that the PACE can handle, it's a bit limited. PACE quickly finds solutions to some of the most difficult computational arithmetic problems, such as the icing problem and the graph max cut and min cut issues, demonstrating the practical use of integrated photonics in advanced computation. In that sense, we might consider it an ASIC. It excels at a small number of tasks, or even a single task. These issues are part of the NP-complete family of difficult mathematical problems that have baffled mathematicians for the past 50 years. NP-complete problem algorithms are essential because they may be translated to other problems and have hundreds of practical applications in disciplines like encryption, power grid optimization, and sophisticated image analysis. The progress we've achieved on NP-complete combinatorial optimization issues exemplifies our technology's potential to revolutionize computing. The transistor is the most basic component of contemporary electronic computers. An analogous optical transistor is required to replace electrical components with optical ones. Materials with a nonlinear refractive index are used to achieve this. In particular, materials exist in which the intensity of incoming light influences the intensity of light transmitted through the material in a similar way to how the current response of a bipolar transistor affects the intensity of the light sent through the material. Optical logic gates, which are then built into the higher-level components of the computer's central processing unit, 
can be made using such an optical transistor. Nonlinear optical crystals will be used to alter light beams such that they can control other light beams. The light will come in through the start node. It will be split into two subrays, each with a lower intensity. These two rays will arrive at a 1 and 0 at the second node. Each of them will be split into two subrays, arriving at the third node at times 0 and A1. All subsets of the set A1, A2 are represented by this. At no more than four separate points, we anticipate the signal's strength to fluctuate. We expect oscillations in the destination node at no more than 16 different times, which are all the subsets of the given. If the goal moment B fluctuates, it indicates that the issue has been solved. Otherwise, there is no subset whose sum of elements matches B. We can't have zero length cables for practical reasons, thus all cables are raised by a minor amount K. The benefits of such a system in operation might be enormous. There have been claims that neural network computations are hundreds of times better than present systems, and this is simply based on current technology. Even still, Hamerly acknowledges that there are still significant barriers to surmount. Existing analog computations have limited accuracy and dynamic range, which is due to a combination of noise and poor precision on current 8D converters. As a result, he claims that neural networks with more than 10-bit precision may not be viable, and that while 8-bit systems are now available, considerably more precision is necessary to truly advance things. Then there are the problems of placing optical components onto chips in the first place. They not only take up a lot more room than transistors, but they also can't be packed as tightly. The PACE, on the other hand, achieves that desirable specialization with the addition of a new computing field, which not only makes the system quicker, but also significantly more efficient. Unlike typical semiconductor systems, which generate excessive heat by passing current through nanometer-level features at potentially absurd rates, the photonic system performs workloads with zero-ohmic heating, no heat is generated by current resistance. It's all about light instead. The validity provided by its CEO's PhD thesis is the foundation of light intelligence. This is because, when Lightelligence's CEO and creator Yichen Chen published Deep Learning Using Coherent Nanophotonic Circuits in Nature in 2017, he predicted that optical circuits will be at the forefront of machine learning computer efforts. By 2020, the firm had raised $100 million in capital and employed around 150 people. After a year, Lightspeed has developed a new product that is hundreds of times quicker than a normal computer unit such as the NVIDIA RTX 3080, according to the company. To be clear, 350 times quicker. The PACE's first public offering seeks to attract enough funding to safely achieve its objective of delivering a prototype AI accelerator product on the market in 2022. The company's strategy still includes a stretch goal of developing and distributing a mass-market, photonics-based hardware solution by 2023, aimed at the cloud AI, finance, and retail segments. Given how Lightelligence improved the company's 2019 Comet design performance by a factor of a million in only two years with Pace, it'll be fascinating to watch where their efforts lead them when it comes to launching. Lightmatter claims that their Envy's photonic device is five times quicker and seven times more energy efficient than the NVIDIA A100 Tensor Core GPU found in some of the world's most powerful data centers. It also boasts a computational density that is many times higher than the NVIDIA DGXA100. The company claims that its Blade system, which contains 16 Envy's chips in a 4U server configuration, uses only 3 kilowatts of power and boasts 3 times higher inferences per second than the NVIDIA DGXA100 with 7 times the inferences per second, watt on BERT base with the squad dataset and, three times higher inferences per second than the NVIDIA DGXA100 with seven times the inferences per second, Watt on Lightmatter isn't a prankster. It secured $80 million earlier this year to help bring its technology to market, and Olivia Nottebaum, Dropbox's former chief operations officer, has joined the board of directors. The chip will be used to improve anything from self-driving cars to natural language processing, pharmaceutical research, and digital customer service agents, among other things. Big claims, but it's worth noting that Lightmatter appears to have a working product rather than just a presentation of lab-based technology or a scientific study. As the topic has now become nearly mainstream news, the necessity to fix concerns such as power consumption and CO2 emissions might be significant instigators in this Latespace race. 
As computer needs increase and machine learning becomes more prevalent, so do the expectations for environmental mitigation. Even Hamerly doubts that we'll ever have a 100% optical photonic computer, preferring instead a hybrid. But he makes no apologies for emphasizing its significance, adding, first, deep learning is truly practical now, not merely a scientific curiosity. Second, we can't rely just on Moore's law to keep electronics advancing. Finally, we have a new technology that previous generations did not have, integrated photonics. So, what is your opinion on photonic hardware potentially becoming a part of everyday computers and maybe even soon replacing things are silicon processors and GPUs? Or do you think that they will likely stay in big data centers for very specific workloads? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.